Hello dear students welcome to the course 2 of the series and in this particular course we will be studying about semiconductors so the prerequisite for studying semiconductor is that you should have a bit uh, you should have a, a basic understanding about uh, conductors uh, so if you are not very much well acquainted with that part so i will suggest that uh, you can go through my course 1 where i had explain all the things about conductors in great depth so basically the course one deals with the conductors uh, then flow of current electricity or i mean flow of current or basically the flow of electrons then we had studied their various laws like ohm's law kvl kcl and on uh, and all and at the end we had also studied uh, different techniques to deal with different different circuits like uh, mesh analysis nodal voltage divider current divider and many more so if you want uh, if you are not very very much well acquainted with that particular part of conductors you may go through that course once and i believe that you will surely enjoy that course as well because i had not only explained the things that theoretically like i had not only solved the sums or you know just explain the concept but we had also uh, uh, implemented that some of the circuits on on the thinker cat software so basically in that particular course i had also uh, taught you the uh, thinker cat software okay so uh, now i will be just explaining you that that what all things uh, that you would be studying in this particular course two that is semiconductors so as you can see the very first part that is introduction so basically in this particular part we are going to understand the semiconductor in layman's language in layman's language okay then in the very uh, then the very second topic is the difference between conductor semiconductors and insulator so again this we are not going to deal in that depth because i had explained the difference between conductors and insulators uh, in the course one okay na so i won't be explaining here this particular thing in depth rather i will just explain that how semiconductor is different from uh, conductors and an insulator okay so we are not going to study in that depth but again we have a little bit of idea little idea or to give you a little bit of idea about how exactly the things are going to work further so this topic again is very important so i will just give you how exactly things are important uh, or what all things are necessary for the uh, further uh, implementation of this particular course and from here that is from third to around sixth topic this is where the core of semiconductor is so basically in this particular part we are going to deal with how a uh, semi uh, how the ele electronic devices work or basically what is the reason behind the electronic devices like a uh, bjt or fets how how do they work okay na like uh, i hope uh, that you might have heard about electrons and holes how they migrate through that particular junction uh, all so these all things we are going to look in in great depth so i will just introduce you what all things are there so this is energy band so right now i don't want to give you any idea about it because we are going to deal with it in depth but after certain time okay similarly we are also going to deal with valence band and conduction band then we are going to deal with forbidden energy gap and at the end we will see the function of pn junction diode or rather i would say that we are going to see the internal internal structure or the internal functionality internal structure or the internal functionality functionality of the pn junction diode of the diode or i will write diode so this is what we are going to see in the entire course and let me tell you one thing that this course would be little theoretical why because it is not possible over here to under, understand the things in the microscopic level because the semiconductors deals uh, with the microscopic or nanoscopic level like how the electrons moves and all and how the holes moves in contrary to electrons so this is what we are going to discuss over here and how the current flows so this was about uh, all this was all about the semiconductors i hope you understood that what we are going to learn in this particular topic so thanks for listening patiently and in next video i will be teaching you or i will or we will be discussing about the introduction part of this particular course thank you